All right, today we're going to be uh, checking out. I can't believe I saw this in the uh, in the store. Poutine pizza pops. So I thought we'd do a comparison of uh, authentic poutine versus poutine pizza pops. There's a little bit of gravy action here. And uh, yeah, poutine pizza pops, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell are poutine pizza pops? Yeah. I have no idea what to expect. Well, I kind of got an idea. I mean, I'm just looking from it. There's, it's not. There's no pizza involved. It just looks like gravy, fries, and some cheese curd. So uh, let's dig in. I'm gonna have to find something to drink with this. I don't know what. But uh, definitely gonna need something to wash this down. And we'll grab one of these TVs here. Alright. A beverage. Just a fork and knife in order. Open my knife. Nicer for for old television. All right, now yeah, let's dig in to uh, <laughs> what we got here. Well, we all know what what poutine tastes like. Poutine's poutine's just delicious. Mm. Some about cheese and gravy, and you gotta have crispy fries. That's why I'm skeptical of skeptical of uh, a poutine uh, pizza pop. I mean, you want your fries to be crispy. My fries just came out of the oven or uh, fryer. They don't even look as crispy as mine. Let's do a cutaway here, and this one exploded and nothing came out, which isn't a good sign, I don't know. So do a cutaway of this one here. See what we got going on in there. See if it looks like the, uh, the commercial or the, the ad there. Oh, it's got a little, a little goo to it. That's it there. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a little goo to it. Who knows what kind of cheese it is. But uh, let's go in there and let's give it a little whirl here. I don't see any french fry in there. There was a french fry in there like a, well, I, I, I wouldn't call it a french fry. There was a piece of potato in there. There's another one in the bottom. The gravy, to tell you the truth, kind of tastes like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I guess. Really close to Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's your french fry right there. That's, uh, that's what they're... Passing off as a fry. So I had one in each bite there. It doesn't even look like there's a whole French fry in the whole in the whole thing. It's kind of got a smoky kind of taste to it. For some reason, it's got like a like a smoky or a charcoal kind of. I don't know. Well, hard to go wrong with deep fried uh, deep fried uh, pizza pop dough I mean that's just all kinds of good stuff right there if 
if you've never had the pleasure of having a deep fried pizza pop, you've never had, in my opinion, you've never had a pizza pop uh, the proper way. But I don't think I would buy this a particular product. I don't think uh, it's, I don't think it's something I'd buy. I mean, this poutine here it tastes like poutine. You know what I mean? Best selling pizza snack. Well, certainly not that one, I would say. I'll give you a cross section of this sucker here. We're gonna split her open. And that's what she looks like on the inside. So we got, uh, I don't know if that's cheese or if that's potato. They could have at least just put like a whole potato in there, you know, like it's not really a pizza pop with poutine. It's more hash browns and gravy than anything with some cheese in there. And the gravy in there. It's a smoky, it almost tastes like smoky, smoky cheeseburger flavor. That's what that tastes like. Mm -hmm. So the gravy or the cheese in the uh, pizza pop. It's obviously coming from another product or they use it in another product because it's got a smoky kind of Maybe it's the gravy. Maybe it's the gravy. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely the gravy. <clears throat> and now that I think about it, the gravy tastes like it's the gravy from the cheeseburger pub style uh, Campbell soup. They got the chunks of cheeseburger circle stuff in there, pseudo meat. And that's what that tastes like, ladies and gentlemen. As for this, uh, I don't know. I won't buy it again, and I still got two more <laughs> left. So I think it's a practical joke, though. I'll wait till someone comes over and I'll, I'll feed them some of these. I'll say, guess the flavor. I think that could be funny. Hmm. Nothing beats authentic poutine, though. Let's see. Empty all their, their stuff out. Get a French fry in there, bend it in half. Got a chunk of cheese in there, wedge her down in there. Oh, get another chunk of cheese in there. You know, whoops, whoops. And then uh, another fry. Give that a whirl. It looks pretty good. Hey. Eh? <laughs> oh yeah. That's pretty good, man. Uh, that was be made better. A little hot sauce. A little bit. Hmm. Huh. 
Well, hmm. I can see where they were headed. It does taste good. If you put uh, the regular poutine, like a real poutine inside there. You got something. But somewhere between R&D, somewhere between Pillsbury's research and development and uh, production, cost or something got involved, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's hard to make a, a poutine, is it? It's just gravy. I mean, I just made it in my kitchen, for gosh sakes. Man alive. I'm going to try this out. And uh, close this up. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to try and bring you some more crazy stuff. I can't believe poutine pizza pops so. That's, that's, uh, that's, let's give this sucker a bite. Mm hmm. I don't know that poutine needs to go inside, uh, you know, pizza bread. I don't know that, but if you were going to sell it inside here, I, I, I think this is the way to go. Whatever they had going on there, like, I mean, it wasn't even real. So hit, hit or a miss, I don't know. It's up for you to decide. Like, comment, subscribe, like I said. Leave a comment down below. Uh, have you got anything else you want me to taste? Uh, real versus store-bought or, or anything like that or, you know. Let me know. Thanks very much, and uh, take care. Hmm.